Hey there, in this video, we're going to be looking at potential difference. Okay? Welcome to Rise Up Namobia. My name is Mit Yanaza, aka the resistor of bad and the lover of good. Hashtag dark and lovely underscore. Walk by faith and not by sight. So, when we talk about potential difference of a source, it is actually the energy per unit charge. Okay? Now it is measured in volts, and this is done using a voltmeter, which should be connected in parallel to the component being measured. Okay? Now which formula do we use? We use this formula, which is V equals to E divided by Q. So the V stands for potential difference, the E stands for energy, the Q stands for quantity of charge, okay? Now the potential difference is measured in volts, the energy in joules, the quantity of charge is like in the previous video, it's the same, it's measured in columns, okay? Now let's take a look at an example. Calculate the potential difference when 500 joules of energy is required to drive 25 columns of charge through a resistor. Okay. Now, how do you get this answer? Now, the first thing is, you want to always get to know what you are asked to calculate. For example, in this example, you are asked to calculate the potential difference. And you know already that your formula, or in your formula, the potential difference, which is the V, is the subject of the formula. So, if it's the subject of a formula, you just need to check in this statement. Do you have E and Q? Now, what is E and Q? E is energy, and then Q is quantity of charge. Now, reread through. Do we have those two in the statement? Yes. We have energy over here, and then we have quantity of charge over here. So, you substitute those two into the formula, which will be? The energy, 500, and the quantity of charge, 25. And then 500 divided by 25 will give you 20, 20 watt, 20 volts. Okay? And that's your final answer. Easy, isn't it? Let's take a look at another example. Now, I want you to pause the video and see if you can get this answer correct. Okay? So pause the video now and see if you can get the correct answer. Okay, so it reads, how much energy is transferred when three columns of charge moves through a potential difference of six volts? Again, guys, you always want to see or check in your statement or question, what am I asked to calculate? So here you are asked how much energy is transferred. Okay, so that's what you need to find, the energy. Now when you look into your formula, where is the energy? This V is not the energy. So you need to make E the subject of the formula. And if you don't know how to make a certain letter subject of the formula, check out the link down below in the description for you to get to know how to do it, okay? Now, some books also have like a triangle where you cover one and then you get the formula for the other one. Okay, so this is how you do it. Because we are looking for E, we, we want to get rid of this Q. How do we get rid of that? By multiplying by that Q on both sides. So on the right hand side, it, it will cancel out this Q. And then you'll have E equals to Q multiplied by V. So if we flip that equation around, it will still be the same, which is E equals to Q multiplied by V. But then we substitute our figures into this formula. So you ask yourself, do you have Q, which is the quantity of charge? Yes, you do have three columns. Do you have V, which is our potential difference? Yes, we do have six volts. So you substitute those two into the formula. And then you ask yourself, what is three multiplied by six? That will give us 18. 18 watt? 18 joules. Because it's energy. 
So the unit for energy is always joules. And that's your final answer. Easy, isn't it? Thank you very much for watching this video. Please do like, subscribe, turn on the notification button not to be the last to see the next upload. Share with friends, family, and classmates. And remember, together we rise to higher heights, apart we all stay behind. Cheers.